Well, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. This is John. What are we doing? Uh, so we picked up some new brackets. We got these new ones for our corner supports for the big green tent. Uh, it's just a better design. The other ones are kind of tearing out, so we got to replace these. And then patch, uh, I think we only have one more hole we got to patch. And then we'll be ready for uh, some real winter camping in the tent again. We're out getting the canvas tent ready in my backyard, fixing some holes, pitching it up, getting some new brackets on. Thanks for joining us. Oh, would you like some help? Yeah, maybe. So that's the old bracket, all bent up and out of shape. Those are the new brackets. You just bolt on. You slide your uh, line keeper on there. So these are the corners for fixing. The new bracket just has to feed through those two pieces with the bolt and then it pulls out and then I need to sew up that edge. So then you take the back part of the bracket and put it through both and then the bolt goes through the middle line. You just put the nut back on. So we got to stitch these two corners up. The brackets being bad made them tear out with the pulls in the wind. So I've got this speedy stitcher. It's a sewing awl designed for heavy, heavy fabric because you could never get just a needle and thread through, you know, six layers of canvas at the seam. And you can just make sure your fingers are out of the way and line it up between where you want it. Then you can just use your thigh and push it right through. You back it up a little and it makes that loop. And you take your line and feed it through. And that's your stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up on the rest of this. Just make sure that you know it's not gonna rip itself out. I'm gonna move on to the other corner and then we can set the tent up. Just gotta finish up this corner after I stabbed myself <laughs> with the sewing all. If Dick were here, we'd have a nice Dick tip about not stabbing yourself with the sewing all. So yeah, I highly recommend the Speedy Stitcher. Quick Stitcher? I think it's the Speedy Stitcher. I think they used the alliteration for marketing. Uh, what else have we done to the tent this year already, John? Getting it ready for this third year. Well, we had to replace some of the uh, actual tie-out ropes. We've done a lot of patching. Oh yeah, we've always had to do a lot of patching on this tent. Uh, a lot of that's just because we got a lot of animals like to live in the tent, and the, you know. Cool. Now we can patch that last hole. It's probably a good idea. But then set it up and be ready to go. John had to go get himself a stick. What's the stick for, John? The stick will help me smear the. Shugu. Oh, what you using shugu for? We're patching a hole, this hole. Found one little hole that we missed. If you'd like to learn more about patching tents and tarps with shugu, John actually has a whole video on it. Maybe I'll put the link up if I'm savvy. You use shugu for a lot of patches. Oh yeah, you can use shugu to patch almost anything. It's great. So you're just putting a thin layer of shugu on there. To get it to stick and then we put a layer you know around the edges to make it more waterproof 
doesn't really matter what temperature you put it on as long as it's dry. Uh, the temperature just means, you know, the, the colder it is, the longer it's going to take to cure. So there's going to take about three days to cure if we don't keep the wood stove running. Ah, uh, there she is. Our trusty wood-burning stove in my shed. Rusting away. Till it's ready for another year of use. Well, John's patching up that last tool. Kara's helping out. I'm going to get the wood stove out and ready. Maybe grab the poles. Oh, look at that marvelous patch job. Yeah, that's how we've patched multiple holes on this tent through the years. We retreated the canvas this year, so it should be a little more waterproof. Added some new lines, hoping getting get into all synthetic lines will keep the mice out a little better. And now we're getting ready to set her up. We found one more line that we need to replace, so you guys actually get to watch us replace a line too. Taking the old piece of rope out, running the new piece of rope through, rope keeper. I'll tie a little knot in the end, call it gravy. Bloop. Then we gotta come down here, figure out how long it should be, so we'll just out to this one not her off and I think we're just gonna you know it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be super great knot it just has to be a knot there we go now we start putting tent they're just so perfect We got all the main poles up, got the big pole in. Now we're just working on the auxiliary poles, zipping the corners up. And then we'll uh, show you how we set up the stove and that's pretty much it. It's not that hard. It only takes us about 15 minutes if we both work hard. It is a, it is a hard work for 15 minutes though. Like you are working hard for 15 minutes. Oh yeah, we ran that stove pipe, got the stove set up all good in there. She's a tent. All right, so we went and got some wood, just some sticks and such. We got some fat wood here to light it. We already packed it full with sticks and fat wood. It's like you've never even watched one of our videos. Well, I mean, you could play music at the end. Here we go. And we shut the door and open the air holes and so you know that was just a little short one because we're taking a little time off for the holidays getting ready for some new stuff some new gear demonstration stuff maybe a podcast in the coming year you never know just thought we'd do a short one right you know thanks for watching if you liked it or give even if you didn't up. give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel we'll show you how to repair more simple things Yep, thanks guys. It's been MI Adventure Life.